Hey there, Big Skillet here, and welcome to a, another Islands video for Lost Ark. Today we're going to talk about Shadow Island, and I want to tell you why it's my favorite island, or at least one of my favorite islands in the game, uh, because it's just amazing the amount of materials you get. You know, the mats are insane, so, you know, let's get right into it. All right, so when you arrive at the island, um, there's a, a guy you need, a captain you need to talk to right outside the dock area, and he's gonna give you the first quest. First of six quests that you have to work on here. So this one is to the Shade Spire, right? And it's relatively basic, uh, not, not too complicated. Es essentially, you're just gonna follow the path into the castle slash tower, and you're gonna talk to this person actually on your left hand side and you, you talk to that person and that's it the mission's over and it's i mean talk about easy peasy it doesn't get much easier than that and you get a fairly decent amount of mats it's the, the on the lower end uh for the for the six quests that are here so the next quest is the scent of blood and as you see the amount of boxes you get increased uh from the first quest and uh, for this quest you're going to go to the second floor and find Gainacron, assuming that's how you say his name. And after talking to Gainacron, well, first of all, each floor has got a ton of mobs on it, which is actually kind of fun. I really enjoyed just testing out different uh, skill combinations and so on and so forth. So once you talk to him, you go to the fourth floor and you gotta find King Guy, uh, assuming I pronounced that right. Unfortunately, King Guy uh, is dead. You know, Bad news, I hate to tell it to you. Not all news is good news, but once you defeat these mobs, because they are a little bit annoying when you're trying to complete the task, is you you check out King Guy's body, and then you need to go back downstairs and talk to Rakeel, assuming that's how you say that, that NPC's name, and you gotta give him the bad news. Like I said, not all news is good news. You give him the bad news, and uh, then complete mission number two. Pretty simple. You're starting to stack up these boxes, you know, as you see already. So the next one, and really the next two, uh, quest number three and quest number four, are basically the same. Uh, quest three is vile debris, and you have to go up to the second floor where they're not, the NPCs are, are like soldiers versus uh, uh, the demons or whatever. And you gotta go up there, and you gotta kill basically 100 of them to collect these the vile debris. It may take slightly more than 100, but typically, I mean, you got to collect 100, right? And when you go back down, you're going to collect, um, complete that mission. And then, unfortunately, the fourth quest, which is the debris gather, is the same thing. Like, you got to go back up and do it again. I think it's still 100 debris. I can't recall if it's more than 100, but you got to do it again. And like I said, it, it's fun, though, because you can test out your different combinations work on your movement and so on and so forth. And you get, once again, you're getting a lot more uh, material boxes. So the fifth quest is called the imp an important record. Now, this one is, is fun because you get to go up to the fifth floor and you get to defeat the boss called Rictus. And no, don't, don't get freaked out if he's not there when you're up there. He spawns about every five minutes or so. So you may have to wait but he's super easy and there's usually enough people there that are trying to do the same thing. So he goes down relatively quickly. Um, and make sure your inventory is not full when you're there. And while you're doing these quests, I like to kind of get rid of my, you know, clear out my inventory before I even start quests like this. Because you are going to get a lot of loot. Um, and then the last quest, quest number six, is Shadow's Mark. And this is where you're going to get your island token. Now you see here that... You go to any continent and you see on the map here the tower and and on the tower you can click on it you can go there and then the tower you, when you click on the blue tower you look for shade spire and there's 50 levels you can do and each level is just basically like a boss or a bunch of you know minions and npcs running around and that is a blast now you can do all 50 levels if you want but i only did the 20 i actually did 25 levels because you have to do the 24 
floors to complete the quest. And I was really more focused about that. And you see, you get a lot more rewards. You get some skill books and some, you know, epic potions and whatnot. So it's, once again, this, this is fun. And I don't know if you can do this daily or weekly. Uh, I need, you know, post in the comments below because if you can do this daily or weekly, this might be something you want to do continuously because A, it is super fun and B, you are getting some decent uh, materials and skill books that you need. So when you're done with that, you're going to head back to Shadow Island and you're going to go back to the main floor and you're going to talk to this guy over here and voila, I think it's random. You're going to talk to random and you complete the quest and you're done. Here you get your island token and you're all set. That's it. It's It takes a little bit of time, maybe about 30 minutes between doing everything, but it's super worth it. You get a ton of materials. I had a blast doing it and I know you will too. So post in the comments below, you know, did you like the quest? Did you feel like the, the materials were worth it, your time? Um, I did, maybe you disagree. Um, and once again, when you're, when you're at, when you're looking at islands on the map, make sure you're hovering over it to make sure that you have the minimum, uh, item level to be even be able to complete the island. So that's it for me, folks. Uh, ha have a great day and enjoy playing the game.